Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts, back at it again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Indochine. Yes, uh, taking it back to 1986 with a song titled called 3E a Sexy. And I'm looking forward to this one, guys, the official video. Um, recommendation made by Patreon subscribers, so check it out. And that's what I'm going to do. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. Edgy, 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 guys. Yes, I like it. 80s all the way. Oh my god, most definitely. Um, drums coming in nicely in the beginning there with those guitar strings, and then other guitar strings come in uh, nicely too with the bass. Um, so guitars, bass, and drums, really, really nice on this one. Um, and I love, I love, I, I love kind of like the distant vocals that we're getting too, kind of like far away um, vocals, but then they come in as he starts singing um, to begin this one. And it's really, really nice. Very, um, uh, I would say kind of like, it has like a, a punk rock appeal um, to begin this one. Um, I think they're... I think they're considered to be new wave rock, um, but it has those kind of like punk styles. I don't know why. I don't know why, but uh, I, I like the sounds coming in already. Already. <laughs> I like the tempo on this. The tempo is really good. It's very enjoyable. Um, and it's it's a nice listen. It's a nice listen. Percussion's coming in nice. Percussion's coming in nice. I like this guy's voice. I like his voice. Um, I have to figure this out. So we have... Um, we have... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Nicholas, uh, Nic Nicola Circus and Dominique Nicholas. Interesting. Interesting. Um, and then they added another member, Dimitri uh, Bodinsky, uh, a cousin of Nic Nicola's friend. So uh, I said Nicholas. I mean Nicola. Nicola. So very interesting. I like these sounds. I like it. I mean, I very, very rarely react to th this type of kind of like um, style uh, in music. I mean, I, I have done New Wave, but this has more of that rock appeal. And, and, and it just sounds good on the ears. <laughs> Gets faster. Love it, love it. I love it, I love it. I see a saxophone player there, guys, but he doesn't seem to be playing it actually. He's just like standing and kind of like fiddling with the with with the keys there. Very interesting. These lyrics 
are even more interesting, guys. In the street, in a charming outfits, makeup like my, my fiance, boy, girl, the stunning look, dressed like my fiance, long hair, colored blonde hair, all naked in a tin. He is beautiful. He is beautiful, mag maligned, uh, the outrage, but I don't care. I don't want to see her naked. I don't want to see him naked. And I love this girl with long hair, and I love this boy who, who, who could say no. Interesting use of lyrical content to describe someone um, in kind of like this very androgynous uh, kind of like in fashion. O almost like um, just saying that, um, that regardless if you're a guy or a girl or whatever you look like, um, acceptance, acceptance for, for who you are as a human, as a human, and I like that. You know, referencing both sexes. Interesting, interesting, um, especially around this time. Very interesting. <laughs> Love it. Oh, there it is. Enjoyable. So the saxophone player comes in and starts playing um, the saxophone. Very interesting element to the song. Um, bringing in those 80s, uh, 80s vibes, most definitely. Um, I keep hitting my microphone. Um, but I like I like it. Very this song is very, very heavy on strings, heavy, heavy on strings and drum work. Um, a lot of percussions, a lot of percussions too. Who was responsible for percussions? We have Arnaud uh DeVos. So uh that's interest interesting there. Mixing by Joe Glassman. I love it. I love what we're getting here. And and it's just uh not only is it catchy. But uh, the lyrics are good. The overall meaning, very, very deep and interesting. Um, and you kind of have those pop elements with the, the new wave rock appeal. Very, very good. Very good. Um, let's see what they have. A lot of hype now with instrumentation coming in. Love it. Notice, notice what happens here as he goes into the third verse, because I was hearing it. I heard the fiancé part. Uh, long dresses for all the boys. Dressed like my fiancé. For girls without counterfeits. Makeup like my fiancé. The big shock for most vicious. It's soon the witch hunt. Ambiguous. Ambiguous to the depths of my eyes. The return of Jupiter. Oh my god. Very interesting lyrics. I like how he has a lot of these, like, almost like metaphoric, metaphorically speaking, um, about um, this 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 individual, this individual that we have here in our hands. Very interesting, and I I just I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, eighty five uh, released, but I think it was composed in eighty five, but then it was released in eighty six. Oh, I don't know some some uh, you know some information here that I'm not entirely sure of, but. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. We're getting these great sounds from this great band. Um, I hope they're not a one-hit wonder, guys. Please, do let me know. Oh. Everything works so well. Enjoyable. That's that's how I want to describe this one, this track by Indochine. 
enjoyable, enjoyable, enjoyable. Very, very good on the ears. I like how they introduced the saxophone there um, to give it more, much more of that interesting element. Kind of like a little neat twist to the song. Um, very, very heavy on percussions, which I actually like. And you heard them there towards the end as they got heavy too, towards the end. Um, heavy in percussions, heavy with um, uh, keyboard arrangements and synths. Uh, it's 80s, guys. They're going to include that stuff. But the guitar work, the strings, those are the things that, are, that, are, that, that, are, that work well with this song. And make it catchy. Um, and make it very, very good on the ears. So, yeah, I mean, new wave rock, you know, I guess you can classify them as. But um, a French, French pop rock and new wave band formed in Paris. 1981. They became very successful um, in the uh, Francophonie, uh, European and Latin America in the 80s, um, with songs like Lee Aventuri and Connery Boy. So they have other songs that are very, very successful. So I may want to take a look at that. Following the release of several uh, critically acclaimed but commercially unsuccessful albums in the 1990s, the group returned to stardom with the release of Paradise in 2002. Interesting, and that's way, way way uh way um distant from the 80s the band has sold over 13 million albums and singles making them the best selling french band around wow and i did not even know about these guys guys i mean i'm discovering a lot of french music now and i'm still kind of like new to it all you know so interesting interesting i like it i like it so uh what happened with this song so this song is very successful for them. It became a number one hit, released in 1986. Um, and they decided to re-release this song in collaboration with Christine and the Queens um, as a hymn to sexual tolerance with lyrics that address homosexuality and the liberation of gender. Yes, it is a song that couldn't be more relevant today. And that is very, very true. Very, very true. Um, as, as, as I was trying to like you know, dissect the lyrics there and, and, and come about it, very, very um, androgynous in, in terms of lyrical content. And I, I kind of like how they did that. But that was the overall overall message. Many people can relate to this stuff, guys. And I like that. I like that. You know, you know, just being able to make an impact in people's lives with this song. So there you have it. Um, so they sold over 30 million albums. And these guys have been around for a while, and I think that they've changed band members too over the years. So they haven't, you know, really, you know, stood the same in terms of, you know, members and, and stuff like that, but what have you. But very interesting nonetheless, guys. This is a really, really great song. Really great song. Good on the ears and everything like that. I want to hear more. I want to hear more. Please leave your comments and suggestions down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Until next time, for more reaction videos like these guys, take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment and like and smash the subscribe button. Stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support the channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. Alright guys, take care. I love you guys. Peace.